So I was just listening to the um, the debut single from Hina Tachibana. The song is called I'm Game. Pretty good uh, debut single, Hina. Anyway, <laughs> that's, not what this, that's not what this video's about. <laughs> yeah. I just love J-pop. It's amazing. That's not what this video is about. This video is about a certain Bionicle G2 piece that, well, I just freaking love. I, I, I like, I don't love this piece, but I just like it. I think it's pretty cool. It's a nice nod to a piece that we already had back, well, literally 20 years ago. And that is this piece, of course. I had two of this piece. Well, I still have another two on my original uh, Kopaka Master of Ice. This came in only two sets. Kopaka Master of Ice as like a shield piece. Um, but in silver also for Tahoe as like a sword piece, you know. <laughs> so With Kopaka, you can separate the two. Uh, you can separate the two uh, shield halves and use them as snow skis or snow shoes of some sort. You're like, whoosh, ride down the uh, ice paths or whatnot. With Tahu, you can combine them into a board. Kind of like the, um, oh, what's it called? The, uh, the, uh, magma great swords or whatever they're called from Toa Lee Khan. Yeah, this is, a, this is, this is, really tickling the I guess retro glands if you want to call it that because retro bionicle is that even a thing um, you know the Toa Lee Khan sword swords were ba or what this piece was based on or at least the philosophy of it but obviously it had the um, these grooves right here these um, when connected together it's a better connection than and a much tighter connection obviously it has more clutch than uh, the Lee Con swords did because you just you put those together and then they fall apart. <laughs> it's kind of stupid, but hey, we loved it. So, but you can easily you know put a, another uh, hand socket piece in between those on the axles and they'll stay together. So where with this, well, it stays together either way. But you could also put, you have two attachment points for both hands, one right here and one right here. You put a hand right there or a hand right there, that's what she said. Um, but that is actually intended for, well, both ends are intended for, I guess, at your fancy, um, a certain uh, piece that, well, is on both Tahu and Kopaka. On Tahu, it's just hanging off the hand right here, so you can put it either back here as to you know stabilize the connection a little bit more or right here to even make it more secure or both get two pieces of that piece and copies of that piece and put them right here and here this sword could also be held it can be held like this but it can also be held like this and so it's like so that is pretty cool I'll go it could also be held from this end, I guess, and you can go. Whoosh. I mean, who would, who would, who in their right mind would do that? It's kind of stupid. Uh, so I would recommend just using this one. These can be used for many things, actually. Not only as swords, not only as this kind of sword, because you know, whoosh, it, it's a style, fighting style, I guess. Um, it could also be used as wings and unfortunately I don't have the other of this one from my second Kopaka master because it broke I think it was at this point though because yeah Bionicle G2 sets definitely well they skipped on plastic right here towards the this uh, end if you see that yeah um it's, it's very noticeable. It's, they skipped on uh, a layer or two of plastic, and it's absolutely fucking bonkers. And why they do it, I don't know. It's stupid, but, you know, they did it. Because, you know, costs, I guess. I don't fucking know. 
you have a couple of pin holes right here to put a couple of pins, obviously. You got a couple of pin holes to put pins right there as well, obviously. And you have an axle hole, well just an axle right here, that you can put stuff in. You don't have to put this lovely piece. I mean, if you put this in the sunshine, oh my god, it illuminates, it's fucking amazing, I fucking love it. Um, yeah, this is an ice uh, frost piece. It's electric ice, I guess you could say. Um, and it just looks awesome. It fits in there rather nicely. It has a click. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> uh, I'm easily amused by shit like this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Ow. So, obviously it has this little tail end for whatever reason. I guess you can poke that. You could poke your enemy's eyes out with that. Which, you know, that sucks, but whatever. It's a little, just a little flange, I guess you could say. I don't know what else I would call it. Like a little flare or something. Um, it's a very nice design, too. I mean, obviously if we take this out temporarily, it does have a lot of this. So there's a lot of bend and stuff, you know. Uh, you could totally bend this in half and it would probably snap. I wouldn't recommend it because if you only have two of these, you'll be stuck with one. And you gotta go on BrickLink and buy another pair, I guess. You might as well buy a pair and save the other one for another. This one's got yellowing on it. Oh no, there's some yellowing on the blades. Speaking of the blade, this is a pretty cool design. It's got these like razor-like things and then it's got this uh, point right there so you can, you know, stab someone with it. I wouldn't recommend doing that, obviously, but this thing definitely screams like, I don't know, knife, something, but it's kind of a pretty awesome design. Like I said, it could be used as a sword, it could be used to make a shield, you can even uh, combine the two halves together into that kind of shield instead of just having uh, one like this and one like this, like Kopaka Master. You just combine it into one shield, but that can also double as a snowboard or a lava board. Pretty fucking cool. But this could also, like I said, uh, be used as a wing. It could also be used, you could have multiples of these as wings for like, I don't know, some kind of angelic mock. I don't know. That would be pretty fucking cool. If someone builds an angel mock of some sort with this as, you know, wing portions, let me know in the comment section below, because I would love to see that. Uh, in fact, post a link to, to a picture. I'd love to see it, because this could totally be used. Um, it's obviously made of polypropylene. Obviously. I mean, why wouldn't it be? It's a lovely piece. It's got, you know, the, the pinhole connections. It's got the axles, albeit they're a little fragile, probably. Um, it's got interesting shaping and design philosophy. And again, it's it's just, it's, I mean, it's just brilliant. I love this piece. Well, okay. I do love it, but in some ways, I still love the uh, Lee Con sword much more. Because that's the one I grew up with, obviously. <laughs> I grew up with the Lee Con sword and not this. But hey, this is a nice callback to the Lee Con sword and the Lee Con uh, sword philosophy of combining them together into a board uh, that he flies around Metro Nui in. So that's cool. Um, I think people could also take Tahu Master, and they probably already have, and you know, give him his golden mask, combine these to combine his silver of these together, and basically you have a G2 uh, Lee Con with a gearbox. <laughs> uh, the problem is there's no Metro Red. No Metro Red. Well, you can make you, yeah, you can make a Metro Red uh, Tahu Master. Yeah, you can actually. You'll need three of the torso armor shell pieces as well as one, two, three, four. Yeah, about four, maybe five of the five length armor shells uh, in that red color. Um, and I don't know what could replace the uh, um, 
the translucent uh, or transparent uh, orange pieces, but you can pretty much do that uh, and make a, a G2 leak on. It's it's definitely worth trying, you know. Source the parts, source source the shells you need, and um, away you go. Replace the silver feet with obviously, you know, gold feet and replace the hands with black hands um, and uh, yeah <laughs> is it worth trying am I gonna do it probably not I don't really care at this point but it's definitely worth trying so I'm pretty sure people have already done it but the way I described it still pretty cool uh, so yeah this piece is something special it really is just love that click. <laughs> oh my god. Why am I so easily amused by shit like that? <laughs> and also, it can click on here, I guess. Well, although it looks awkward. I can also click on here for whatever reason. <laughs> so. <laughs> Yeah, so that is the G2 Lee Consort, as I call it. <laughs> it's a great piece. It's definitely, it fuels creativity. It fuels the, the brain of ideas, you know. And again, you could use it for, like, wings for an angel mock of some sort. And that would be pretty fucking cool. In fact, I implore you to build your own angel mock with these, uh, with, like, I don't know, six or even eight of these for the just for the wings you don't even have to use these as weapons just use them for the wings that would be fucking awesome I'm not gonna do it because I don't have enough of this I just have the one I'm gonna use it for a sword for another mock and I don't want to take apart my Kopaka Master because why would I? <laughs> um, but yeah, this piece is something special, and it only c came in two colors, white and silver. <sighs> but I'm sure there are bootlegs out there, or if there's not, there can be bootlegs of this in multiple colors, like, I don't know, black, blue, brown, green, purple, purple. <laughs> uh, Dark Azure, um, you know, Metro Red, if you're willing to go that far, uh, Orange, Keat Orange, uh, Yellow, um, Gray, Gunmetal, that would be cool, a Gunmetal one of these, yeah, <laughs> combine two of them in Gunmetal and oh my god, oh my god, this is just such an awesome piece and yeah, I do love this piece. It's it, it just fuels the creative minds of us mockists, and we will use it probably forever. And we have Lego to thank for this piece. So, just don't use it in a knife fight. You'll probably lose. This, this is just great. I love it. And I originally said I didn't love it, but I do like it. Well, I changed my mind. I love this piece. I think it's wonderful. And you should too. Let me know how you used this piece in your mocks in the comment section below. And if you plan on using it after watching this video, let me know how it turns out. Let me know what you plan on using it for. Experiment at your own uh, volition and enjoy it because this is a piece that is deserving of as much use as it possibly can get as well as a 15 minute long video like this <laughs> for one single piece <sighs> i hope you all enjoyed this video um stay tuned for more i'm the zombie jlc folks there have a good fucking day and peace